and today we are going wild camping to Loch Muick. Is it Muick? Is that how you say it? Mick. Mick. Is that how you say it? Pronounce it? Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. I've been telling loads of folk I'm going to Loch Muick. This is a wild camping trip, so that means we're not going to a campsite. We're just going to be setting up, camping somewhere random. In the, well, it's no random really. We kind of know roughly where we're going to go. But it's pretty much out with of a campsite and it's going to be wild so we might get eaten by a bear even though Scotland doesn't have bears, I don't think Scotland does. Today I'm joined by Dean driving and Ross is in the back, don't know what the hell he's doing but he's, he's back there somewhere. And this journey is going to take us about four hours, four hours to get here from where we stay in Scotland but it's going to be definitely worth the wait so it's a bit of a road trip we're going on today but before I get into the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button I put out vlogs tutorials explores and unboxing videos so if that's something you're interested in hit that subscribe button and hit the like button if you like the video and hit the dislike button if you don't like the video if you want to be that guy be that guy but anyway we're traveling we're currently on the road traveling the M77 on our way to Glasgow and then we're gonna cut up to the north east of Scotland and then we'll be on the road another two hours or something and then we'll kind of get there so a bit of a journey ahead of us but we know it's going to be way worth it once we get there so stay tuned and I'll see you guys in a bit So guys, just a little update. We actually left North Ayrshire, which is located in the west of Scotland at half three, then headed to Glasgow on the M77, then on to the A9. This will hopefully bring us to Loch Mick. Loch Mick? It's Loch Mick. Pretty sure it is. It's Loch Mick. Uh, this will hopefully bring us to Loch Mick about half seven. So that'll be about four hours drive. So the drive's been quite smooth so far. Are you enjoying the drive, dude? Always. I love driving. You love driving. You, you're already driving. You're, you're too good, dude. You, you drive everywhere for this. Anytime, anytime. How about you back there, Ross? <laughs> What's that? Is that is that a Cabri Sun or a Cider? Oh, All right, okay. <laughs> Right guys, that's us almost there at Loch Mike. And we're still not really decided whether it's Loch Mike or Loch Muick, but it's definitely one of those two. Loch Mick. Is it? Mick, <laughs> Mick, sorry. <laughs> right, there's a third one in the mix then. Right, so we're on our way, we're just gonna start saying the lock for now on. We'll just start right, saying okay. the lock, right? We're almost there, so we're just coming up to a car park now. We're gonna have to go on a bit of a kind of wee trek to kind of actually find where we're camping. But yeah, we're coming up to it right now. Bag that. Put that on first. Put the big bag on so we'll keep, it, we'll keep our straps up. Oh my god, right, we're taking a break already. Oh no, I'm fixing this one. Get, get, get some footage of what I've actually Hold got on. on my back. Alright, okay. The camping man. Oh. Oh yeah. This is not, not easy. I mean, they seem to be doing alright. I must just be really, really unhealthy. <laughs> I've had to put my camera bag on the front. Why isn't it working that other way? I warn anyone coming to camp here at Loch Mike, Mook, Mackey, Mike, Wick. Hi, Mick, that one. Uh, I will warn. Don't come with a ridiculous amount of equipment like I've done because <laughs> I can't even lift my arm that high. <sighs> Right, we are now. It's a nice view. Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna fall, man. Right, we are now. Starting across. I can only call very tall grass. There's a big hole right there. Not an easy stroll. But we'll make it. We'll make... Ross. Ross. How are you doing back there? Good, good. Do you know trekking through? 
like he always does. Don't get much more wild than this. <laughs> That's wild camping. Look at that view, but it's looking pretty epic, man. It's looking pretty epic. We've pretty much just came off the path, the main path, so there's a car park up there, uh, but you can't overnight camp there. So we've parked a bit further up, so we could leave the car here, oh my God, overnight. Uh, there's a path that comes right down this way, along the back here, and uh, we've came off it to walk down towards the lock, because we've seen from a distance a kind of nice wee spot right on the lock that we want to camp on. So we're heading there now. Oh, thank God. Oh, I think we've made it. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, that was that was a big stop. That was a big walk. Right, we've got to go back to the car as well to get other stuff. Woo! I'm very dark. Hi right, guys. All right, we need to go back to the car to get other stuff, which is very upsetting. Set up the tent first, then head back. But that was in insanely long, hard walk. Whew. Camping on rocks isn't it going to be fun. Right over there. It looks a bit softer over there. I don't know how windy this is, right? But I think we may have found the location. It looks pretty dope here. Have a look. Ooh. Ross is munching. I see you. <laughs> so this could be the spot. Look at that view. Beast. Right guys, what's happened is uh, we've actually got down here and we have no signal on our phones, so we can't let anyone know we got here safe. So Ross and Dean are going back up to the car to get the rest of the stuff. And they're gonna drive out a bit to get a bit of signal and let somebody know we're here okay and we didn't die while trying to get to this wild camping spot. Uh, I've been left here in charge of setting up the tents. So yeah, I'm pretty much alone in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but set up two tents. So quiet. Did you get signal? Yeah, see that big grass patch next to the bridge? Aye. Better off camping there than they win. So no. I got virtually stopped. Yeah, so what happened is they actually came back just to tell me we had to actually move location because this bit was less windy. So this is a new location. I'm very thankful I didn't already do some B-roll here at the last place because I would have been very upset wasting all that time. But now that I'm here, it's actually quite nice. And now they're walking away again to leave me by myself. Bye guys. Season two hours. Right, one tent down. They're not back yet, but I need to build another tent. Hopefully it'll be done by the time they're back. But this is a new spot, it looks all right, eh? Peaceful river. It's not as windy, which is good. Locks just there. But, eh, it's a nice wee area. Right, so there's still no back. Uh, I've now set up two tents. Their tent. And my tent. My tent doesn't just look better because I wanted it to. It just so happens I built their tent first and I knew what I was doing with my tent, so yeah, that kind of looks better. I'll put a wee bit in at the end when I actually do see them, in case it's dark and I can't actually get any enough light to actually film it. In. This spot, Loch Muick, wild camping, right next to this river. Loch's just over there. Excellent wild camping spot, and I'd highly recommend it. Midges are kind of bad to know, that's why I had the hood up. Um, but yeah. There's a few people actually camping about. There's a few over there, not really that close, but and there's a few. There's a forest behind me there. Uh, there's a fire going there, so I'm guessing somebody's camping there. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Hopefully, I'm safe and I survive this, and you actually are able to watch this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Hopefully.